some of you may have noticed that I got my days turned around. Cut! Wrong camera! Oh, right. As I was saying, some of you guys may have noticed that I basically flipped days for the Call of the Wild and Classic videos this week, and that was just completely accidental, I got my days confused. And when I realized that, I actually got kind of excited because we've been working through a bunch of Classic competitions, and I think we now have six different species trophies, and I thought maybe recording a Classic video on a different day would open us up to some new competitions, but unfortunately, there are none for species that I'm super interested in. But I wanted to continue anyway with kind of what we've been doing in multiplayer. I got to thinking a lot of the big whitetail we've killed have been in multiplayer. I explained this a couple of weeks back when we started it. And I wanted to kind of continue that experiment today on Logger's Point. Almost fittingly, we finally have our first encounter with a whitetail buck at the center tower here on Logger's Point, which has quite a reputation at this point. But I grabbed the snake bite bow today. I wanted to run with at least a little bit of a different loadout and... I've got a number of compound tracers to actually use up. There's a white tail doe under there. The only thing that I want is for her to either one just stop for us. Ew, that was close to not being so good, but whatever we hit works. I didn't want her to basically run off and potentially spook stuff, so whatever shot we got there, I think we lucked out that she dropped, but kind of worked out in the end. And we're probably going to move to... I can't remember the last time we hunted this map, but the tower where we had like four different white tail bucks come in, that guy was just a 114. Then our doe, I'm just kind of curious where we actually hit it to get that drop shot, because it seemed a little bit far back to me. Yeah, spine two and liver. I'm surprised it even was an immediate kill, but not going to complain about that. We'll just sort of head over towards the tower and see what's going on in that direction. Well, apparently different tower pretty much same exact result 95 to 120 on this guy's estimate and once again we'll try to take him there with the snake bite as he's probably gonna start moving a lot of times when they call they'll start walking right after that so I wanted to get that shot off by the way I didn't really get to t talk about the rest of the loadout so we have the 30 out 6 despite the fact that there weren't any competitions that I really wanted to participate in there is a coyote one which doesn't have a very high scoring top three right now which basically requires a Kaiyu shot with a 30 out 6 or 300, and I like camo guns, so we have the 30 out 6. Our other gun is just a 357 handgun. There's a Bobcat comp, which probably because we're past the center tower and haven't shot any means that we're not going to bother with that much. It requires three different Bobcats to be shot, and essentially it's your average of your top three highest scoring ones. And again, it didn't have a high score, so if we found three males, we could kind of go for that, but I think mainly we're going to worry about Whitetail and maybe coyotes. Well, yet again, a pretty average sized white tail buck coming in, but I am kind of encouraged. We're just getting to the tower that I mentioned, and we weren't even able to get into it. This guy grunted like so close to us that I was afraid to actually move over and kind of risk sending him running before we could ever see what he is. So we'll probably go jump in the tower and call a bit more and maybe even sit at the tree stand a bit because it kind of overlooks that valley a little better. But last time we were here, like I said, we had four, and already one down before we even get into the tower. Well, this might be a problem. Unless we can get this shot off, we might get run over. Luckily, not only do we make that drop shot, but uh, I don't think any other feral hogs were around. A lot of times they travel in groups, and had there been others, it would have been really tough to like drop him and not send those other... I guess hypothetical pig is running, so I think we're still good. I was crawling through the grass and had no idea that guy was about to kind of try to change our plans. Well, at least as far as I can tell, no other whitetail are around, but this little guy out here might actually be part of the reason for that. And I had just mentioned I didn't really think we were going to get to do much with this comp, but maybe with this guy we can at least start. The shots do have to be over 50 meters for this, so we're gonna go ahead and go for this just kind of before it would walk down on the hill and get a little bit left like an awkward angle. So I don't know that I ever actually spotted that there. It's a pretty small one, but it is an average. So even if we can just get three males and maybe one average one and one decent one, I think we'll actually be looking good for now. And I guess the good news is we've actually not fast traveled yet. So we can pretty much just hop out of here and not have that gunshot be much of an impact. He was towards the top end of that low estimate, so 8.2 might be okay for us, and 
Worst case, 95 GM ain't a bad deal. Man, it figures that we would find a massive mule deer buck on a whitetail hunt. This guy's estimate is 220 to 245. He's got a low kind of scoring main beam there. It's gonna be a little bit short, but otherwise he looks pretty good. Now I've always wanted to shoot like some kind of significant animal from this uh, bridge across the canyon here on loggers and I've never actually gotten the chance. So I think we're probably gonna use the 30 odd six. That's our bug there. I'd love to do it with a bow, but having never practiced it, I don't think now is the time to try that shot. So whenever he kind of steps out, I'm not so sure why he went up into the brush, but when we get the opportunity, I think we'll try to take it. I'm pretty sure that is him walking out right here. I was a little bit concerned because we're kind of closer to them than it would appear. So finally, able to take some kind of special thing from this bridge, but I kind of was just laying there prone looking around because we may have been way above them and the shot distance may have been, I don't know, even over a hundred meters, but I'm not so sure how the like animal detection works. Render distance is horizontal. So for instance, when we're up higher, we can see a little bit farther because of that, but I don't know if like animal detection would go along that same thing. And again, it's rare to get that opportunity from the British to actually shoot like something somewhat special. So I was not trying to risk anything in that instance. You know, it may be possible to get the bridge in the trophy shot. We'll have to see. Would have been nicer if he just stayed down on the flat where most of the deer were, but let's see what we have with this guy. Brain shot him at, yeah, 60 meters was the shot distance. 232 though. I think that is maybe our second best mule deer buck in the last couple of years. I'm not even sure it ever made it into a video, but there was a 235 I think it scored on Timbergold Trails just completely at random from a tree stand, and other than that, this is probably our best buck since, I don't know, a 237 back in like 2016. So like I said, I'd like to get that bridge in there, but I don't think that's going to happen actually now that I'm looking at it. I think we are going to go with that. I just, it's in a spot which is really tough to use trophy shop hoses on and I'm not sure that I can do any better with the lighting and stuff. I almost want to tax that. I think we will. I mean, 230s mule deer don't come around that often. Even if there was that 235, we might still end up putting that guy in a different lodge or maybe we'll even just display two of them. Like I said, getting a 230 mule deer is pretty cool. I don't know if time, I guess we're in multiplayer, so time would properly pass in a trophy shot regardless. We can probably fast travel again soon then, and obviously we did just shoot the gun there, so maybe we'll kind of hop down into this area. It's mostly mule deer territory, we got two minutes to wait, but there could be whitetail into there by now as well. It's been two hours since we started, so stuff can roam pretty far in that kind of time frame. Well, that's one way to track down a buck, just pretty much stumble onto it. Yet again, though, for Whitetail, just kind of average sized, and yet again, kind of like the doe early on in the video, kind of a shot that seemed far back, but whatever we got there was enough to drop him. And quite honestly, what are we, two hours and 15 minutes into this hunt, I probably wouldn't have tracked it had he run off, so glad he did drop. 121, sad to say, might be our best Whitetail. I'm still determined to at least get like one big frame buck during this hunt. I can't complain about a hunt with a 230s mule deer for sure, but there's got to be like at least a decent whitetail out here somewhere. Well, I'd say that pretty well qualifies as a big frame whitetail, 155 to 175, and yet again, no calling, just kind of climbed up into this tripod, and he's just standing out there feeding, which is a cool thing to see. We see deer feeding all the time in this game, but it's rare to actually get eyes on like a big one, so that's pretty neat, but I think... Just because we have the snake bite bow today and we don't need to worry about trying to get extra bow kills for our stats, as he's grunting there, we'll take him with the 30 out 6 and probably at that point call it a hunt. And I was thinking back to that mule deer. I didn't enter any competitions really for like whitetail or mule deer or anything like that because they were single player specific. But then the only mule deer comp anyway was like a range one, which you pretty much have to do on Timberville Trails to get into the top three. And we were in such a perfect position had it been a score comp, and that just didn't really work out for us. But glad we got a good sized whitetail as well. Actually managed to hard shot him there in a 159 score, so 
not huge, but nice to get something for Whitetail after all those bucks. And I mean, I still don't know what to think about the whole single player versus multiplayer thing, but certainly a trophy mule deer like that does sort of help the case kind of to continue doing it. So I guess that's just going to have to be the way it goes. We'll keep trying it and see how it treats us going forward. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.